Before we went plant-based, we wasted a lot of food. I'll be perfectly honest. Meat would spoil in the refrigerator. Fresh produce would go limp or moldy or just squishy before we ate it. Um, we purchased in bulk a lot and things just went bad before we could consume it. Now, we don't waste anything, ever. Fresh produce gets eaten before it goes bad. I buy just what I need, so I'm a little more careful there. I buy a lot of frozen produce that I can pull out of the fridge at any time. And I've resurrected a time-honored tradition of leftover night. Now, before plant-based, to be honest, my husband really wasn't a fan of leftovers. I had a teenage son at home, so he ate most of them, but if he didn't eat them, they got thrown out. I have a teenage daughter who at that time wasn't teenage, but she ate like a bird, and I generally just wasn't home for lunch. So, you know, my, my son would eat things late at night when he got hungry, as teenage boys do. <laughs> but now it seems like because I batch cook a lot and the flavors of the foods just mesh well together, leftovers don't seem so leftover, if that mean, means anything. Um, they just, they taste better and we're more apt to eat them. And so when the refrigerator is full, usually about once a week, I pull everything out and the family can just decide what they want to eat. Now, everything in my house is in glass containers. I don't use plastic. So it can easily be microwavable and they just take off the plastic lid, microwave it, and I don't have to worry about that plastic leaching into the food. So I feel more confident giving my family leftovers. So what kind of things might I have left over? Well, this is just some plain white rice. Then of course I batch cook beans, so there's always beans that can be put on the plain white rice. Or we've got a lot of this Spanish rice left. So again, beans with Spanish rice. Let's see, this is uh, Mary McDougall's Golden Gravy and there's quite a lot of that because the normal recipe, my family ate it up and wanted more. And so I had started doubling and then tripling the recipe because I wasn't making enough for them. So I, last night I made a lot. So there's some left over. Then we've got the mashed potatoes that the golden gravy went on, which today I think I'm gonna show you how to put those in the air fryer and make a really crispy potato kind of hash brown thing. Let's do that later, okay? And then let's see. This is a pasta dish. See in there, there's pasta with um, sun-dried tomatoes and veggies. And I've shown you that before. And this, there's a red potato and some steamed veggies. And I think I'll have that for lunch today. So these are the kind of foods that we have. Oh, let's not forget our veggie patties. These my husband has every day for lunch. So we won't pull that out on left overnight. Just wanted to show you that those are in my fridge. So we will pull all this out and everyone will take a plate, take what they want on it, microwave it, and then we still all sit down together as a family. Anything left over from leftover night, I run through my food processor, add some beans and oats, and I make more veggie patties. It's just that simple. Plant-based has changed our life for the better.